It's important to keep developing our knowledge and expertise in the area of chemistry because um, we need to keep developing better healthcare for people, develop new industries and new technologies and obviously most important uh, for me, um, maintaining water quality and supply. Being a member of the RSC has uh, given me a lot of confidence to build up my network. Um, I've been able to speak to a lot of other scientists in the water industry as a result and in other industries as well but obviously my main focus is staying in touch with people from our industry so we can share ideas and see how we can work together to improve processes. Well, being connected to this great network of chemical scientists, it just it means you can get to meet people in other situations, support each other and share ideas. I'm personally involved with both the Manchester and the Liverpool networks, both of which have uh, got a lot of interesting people. I've met people from academia, also people from local industry, um, and we recently went out to the Liverpool section and did something on CPD. Uh, and the importance of chartered status. I started working here with an HNC, so I went on to do my degree on day release, and from there we got, um, a few years back, the DWI brought in a new recommendation. They wanted to have people with chartered status, so we brought in some new guidelines. We've got people working towards becoming members of professional bodies, and then be getting their chartered status. Working towards the CCHEM was quite a lot of hard work because obviously you have to fit it around your normal day-to-day -day job. But at the same time, it's, it was really exciting because I got to do lots of things that I probably wouldn't normally have got to do, um, such as going to the conferences and meeting people, but also like building relationships with um, my managers and more the members of my team because there's also the personal development side. Choosing a mentor was quite difficult because most of the RSC members who work here don't work with me on my day-to-day -day job which is a technical scientist so I had to pick my technical specialist instead and Rob's actually the obvious choice to pick really because he knew what I would need to do to develop into a similar role to his in the future. I did have concerns at first because he wasn't an RSC member that that wouldn't be appropriate but I did uh, contact um, someone from the department. They said it was far more important that he knew me and was familiar with my work so that worked out a lot better. The CCHEM team were really helpful in preparing my um, final report because one of the most challenging things is actually getting it down to those 30 pages. I've got a lot more confidence now. Um, I feel I can be able to discuss things on a, a more level basis with my managers and senior scientists. Once people are members, I tend to point them in the direction of the websites, particularly as the CCHEM and certainly Chartered Status is a requirement for us. The resources available in that regard are invaluable.